Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to do, how to combine two pictures in Seashore. Seashore is already open. You'll see it's down here. Make sure that's open. Now remember, you cannot just double click on an image and it'll appear in Seashore. You have to go into Seashore and open it. So I'm going to open Seashore. What I'm going to be doing is going to the Lincoln Memorial with the nice little pond there. And you have to have both of your images that you're going to combine open. So the second image I'm going to combine is a Loch Ness Monster picture. Very nice. So the trick to this, there's a lot of little tricks, and you got to make sure you do everything exactly right. First thing is we're going to select the part of the image that we want to put on the background image. It's always best to take the smallest part to move over. Then you're going to copy it. Then I'm going to shrink this down so that it's out of my way. Then I'm going to do edit, paste. Oh, no, don't do that yet. Make a layer. Then do edit, paste. That's usually the big mistake that people make. Now, you can move this around to where you want to do it. Um, you can't scale the size. Obviously, it's too big right now. And you'll notice that one's in black and white and one's in color and all of those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to anchor it about in here so that it looks like it's kind of in the water. Then we're going to take this layer right here, see how it became the part of that layer. If you didn't make it part of that layer, you wouldn't be able to erase the extras later. So now with this layer, we're going to scale it. Now this one is about 800 by 549, and I want it to be about half the size that it is. So I'm going to actually take it down to 500. Now, if you want it to keep its proportions, you have to now click in the height portion. Even though it says keep proportions, it doesn't do it automatically. Remember, it's free, so it's not the most complicated software. So we scale it, and there we have the Loch Ness Monster on tour here at the Lincoln Memorial. Now, it doesn't look right yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to click back and click around. And we're going to take this and we're going to start erasing the extra parts. Now, I'm not going to do a really good job. Remember, we can take it all the way down to doing it at the level of a pixel a piece. If we just use, oops, I made a mistake. We always want to do undo if we can. Remember, we can zoom in and do it even more carefully. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Take that back. I'm out of control here. Here we go. We'll bring it back. So I want to bring it up one. That's all I wanted. We're going to go back to the eraser. And then we're going to erase the parts that we don't want to have in here. Now, like I said, you can make the eraser smaller. I'll show you how you know how to do that already. But we're just going to get the basics here out of it. And you can always go back and get it better. Oops. Always hit that button. Okay, so I'm going to come back around here. Take care of the back, the side. Of course, you guys will be much better at this because you have talent, and you know I don't. I am not creative, but here we go. Now, we're going to bring that back out. Wrong way. Okay, now, the one problem we still have is that this is in black and white, and this is in color. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the image. And we're going to go to mode. We're going to change it all to grayscale. That's going to bring it back into that image. You now have a picture of the Loch Ness Monster at the Lincoln Memorial. I guess it was on vacation. Hope that helps. Thanks.